What's up, folks? This is TMV888 from HookahPro.com, the Dongo King. We are stuck in a blizzard right now, level 2 snow emergency. Snowpocalypse 2011. A snowpocalypse. And, uh, but we're pretty happy because right before this big blizzard hit, our packages with our new shisha came in. We met the mailman right at the door. We were pretty pumped about it. We got a whole bunch of good stuff. We're probably going to be having quite a few reviews coming for you. But tonight we got a review on uh, Nakla Miso Watermelon. It's friggin' fantastic. So far, it's friggin' fantastic. <laughs> Uh, and actually, just before this, we did guava too, but I didn't do a review on it, but I will, don't worry. Um, that was equally delicious. That was also very delicious. All right. The cut on this stuff, it's just like Nakla, I mean, as far as the cut's concerned. Um, but it's, as most of you I'm sure know, Miso is kind of like Nakla's um, more moist line. Uh, this stuff is a bit more moist. and um, Shreds are perfect, though, like the leaves... Yeah, and, and what so actually, many. yeah, there, it's real easy to pack, and what actually really surprised me. Hardly any stems. Yeah, well, here's Hardly. one, but I mean, for, as far as not go. the size of this one, we're used to having stems this big in our Nakla, like tree branches. Even Roman anymore. Yeah, uh, but this, I mean, I think they're stepping it up a bit, because there's, there's barely anything to be overly concerned about in here. Um, anyways, that's, you know, as far as the cut's concerned. Smell of it? Smells awesome. It smells awesome. It smells like a watermelon, but I mean a little stronger than if you were to just cut into a watermelon. To me, it kind of reminded me of like watermelon chewing gum. Mm -hmm. I was a little skeptical at first because I thought it was going to taste like this, but the first time I tasted it, it tasted like you just bit into a watermelon, like literally. Nothing about it tastes fake. It's the most realistic watermelon flavor. Um, what other, I mean, the only other watermelon we've had is Roman's. Ramen. Yeah, and I, was, never, I never even got to try it. It wasn't even good. It had too much of like a musk behind it. Like it just wasn't even worth it. I wound up throwing musk out, to be honest. Yeah. But this, like, when I first smelled it, I thought it smelled Um, It was really similar to like Hall's cough drops, you know? They kind of had like a funkish, not really like a ripe watermelon scent. This? Anyway, yeah. Huh. It smelled like a weird lozenge name. Okay. But it smokes phenomenally. I don't know, it, it tastes like a watermelon. Yeah, yeah. fresh summer hot watermelon. I mean, clouds, they're decent. They're not going to be the biggest thing in the world. But it's only been going 15 minutes, though. We've really only had it burning for about 15. Um, but, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't even care about the size of the clouds because the flavor is just to die for. I mean, this is really, really gourmet, in my opinion. Yeah. Smoking out of just uh, my Halzone can with just a big funnel bowl on it. Extra large wind cover. We got our KM hose. Um, smoking it out of a funnel bowl. Uh, actually, a large funnel bowl. Just it. Oh, did you? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, Heavy-duty foil, three Coconaras. Uh, we were kind of upset because I know Coconaras reverted back to their old shape of the more rectangular shape as opposed to the cubes, but we got, cubes. we got one of the cube boxes, so we have cubes as opposed to uh, rectangles, which sucks. But um, other than that, it's really good. I mean, if, if you guys are looking for a super, super realistic, amazingly delicious watermelon flavor, this is for you. Um, yeah, and this was kind of like, when I started smoking Huga and like looking for different shishas, I was like on a quest for watermelon, and I couldn't really find any, and then finally this, after trying four different blends, like this is, my search is over. It's Miso watermelon all the way. It's oh, yeah. the best. And uh, the only, I mean, up until today, we had only ever smoked one flavor of the Miso line, and that was peach, which was also really, really fantastic, but... Awesome. Uh, both the watermelon, which we're doing the review on now, and the guava that I had earlier, they both just completely blew away the peach. And I thought peach was fantastic alone, but this just can't get any better. I mean, the amount of realism with these flavors, it, I mean, nothing about it is candy-like, nothing about it tastes false, it just, it's perfect, real watermelon. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, what would you give it for a number rating? Honestly, like a 9.6 or 0.7. <laughs> a 9.6 or 0.7? <laughs> yeah. 
That's real specific. Yeah, there's no such thing as a 10 for me. No. But this is as close as it can get so far. I don't think we'll ever find a perfect 10, but this is, right. this, I mean, for me, the guava I had earlier was pr the closest to my, <laughs> you know, my favorite flavor used to be Nakla cherry until I tried the guava. That totally blew it away. And this blew away the cherry, too. This, both of these are, you know, up in my top spot. <laughs> so, uh, definitely get some. Pick it up. and uh, Great stuff. You'll definitely enjoy it. This will not let you down. I promise you that. It's pretty much the miso line in general. Yeah, it, just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm so sure. impressed by this. It's ridiculous. But that's all we got for you tonight, folks. Uh, definitely go pick some of this up. Uh, once again, TNB 888 from hookahpro.com. Don Goofy. All right, you guys have a good night.